All right, boys and girls, the last time I read a book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. This was a fiction book, and we learned a little bit about the life cycle of a butterfly. In this story, the character is a caterpillar, the main character is a caterpillar, and he starts as an egg on a leaf. We get to watch as the caterpillar eats and eats and eats, and finally at the end, after he has been in his cocoon for a while, he emerges as a beautiful butterfly. Today we're going to not read a fiction book, but we're going to read a non-fiction book about caterpillars and butterfly. We're going to find out some information about butterflies and caterpillars. I wonder what butterflies are. Amazing insects. Butterflies are flying insects with beautiful wings. They begin their life as a caterpillar. Tiny eggs. Butterflies lay tiny eggs on leaves and twigs. The eggs are so sticky they don't fall off. Many eggs have a thick rough covering. A caterpillar is growing inside each egg and they'll be ready to hatch in a few days. Butterfly eggs come in different shapes. That's what the illustrator's showing you down here. Some eggs look like round pearls. Other eggs are long and thin. They kind of hang on the stem and a few hang like beads on a string. When Caterpillars emerge from those eggs. They eat all the time. They find a plant that they like and they eat until it's all gone. Caterpillars soon grow so fat that their skin is too tight and they start to split. This is called molting. They wriggle out of their old skin and underneath is a new stretchy skin. Most caterpillars can molt or change their skin four times. And every time, the pattern becomes more interesting. Soon, caterpillars are ready to turn into butterflies. First, a caterpillar finds a safe, sheltered place, maybe under a leaf, and hangs upside down using hooks on its body. Its skin splits and falls off, and underneath is a new skin. The skin gets harder and harder until it's like a case. The hard case is called a pupa. A pupa hangs without moving for weeks and inside a butterfly is growing. When butterflies are fully grown, they are ready to break out of their pupa or maybe we would say they're ready to emerge from their pupa. You can see this butterfly's wings inside its pupa. A butterfly slowly pushes itself out, then it stops to rest. Its wings are pale, damp, and crumpled. If something gets damp, it's a little bit wet. And butterflies have to let their wings dry before they can fly. This monarch butterfly must wait a few hours for its wings to spread out and get stiffer. And butterflies do not grow after they've hatched. They stay the same size all their lives. Butterflies are always moving around. They never stay still for long. All butterflies have four big wide wings. They flap all four wings together and the wings are covered in tiny scales. You can see them under the microscope. Some butterflies flap their wings 70 times every second. Butterflies and moths feed on juices from flowers or fruit. Instead of a mouth, they have a long, thin-like tube called a proboscis. They drink through it like a straw. The proboscis is usually curled up and it uncurls when the butterfly drinks. When butterflies are thirsty, they often suck up drops of water from the damp ground. Butterflies come in all shapes and sizes. 
The smallest butterfly is called a pygmy blue. And this is the size of it. It's teeny tiny. This is a zebra swallowtail butterfly. Many swallowtails have long wings that make them look bigger. This helps to protect them from enemies. Birds often snap at the butterfly's dangling tails instead of its body. This butterfly has a chance to escape. Losing a bit of its wing doesn't hurt. This is just one book about butterflies, boys and girls. If you go to Epic, there are several other butterfly books that you might want to listen to. When we come back the next time, we'll try to learn to draw a butterfly. Maybe we'll do a little bit of butterfly writing. See you next time.